Today we're going to be talking about manual operations when you lose power to the power load system. Not power to the stretcher itself, but to the power load system itself. So this will be operating just like the older ambulances. You will not have the arms holding the patient up as they usually do. You're going to have to manually hold the stretcher up as we did with the older ambulances. So you'll press the button. You'll notice that the stretcher does not raise up. So you'll be holding the weight of the stretcher as it comes out. You don't get the flashing orange light. You'll reach over and hit the manual release button for the arms to drop. The stretcher will now be lowered as you're holding the button which will allow the arms to come down from below the stretcher. And then you will release the stretcher by the manual latch up in the front and pull the stretcher out. So now we're gonna review placing the stretcher back into the ambulance without the power load working. The arms are gonna be down. They are dropped from you pushing the manual button and they drop all the way down. You'll load the stretcher back just as you normally do. The only thing that you won't see are the flashing orange lights. You'll load the stretcher. You notice that you don't have the green lights because the system is not on. You will manually pick the stretcher up and raise the legs. Push the stretcher back in as you normally would in one of the older ambulances.